Splendid in the morning, splendid in the evening, splendid at supper time. Be my little Splenda and love me all the time. Puddin' in the morning, puddin' in the evening, puddin' at supper time. Be my little puddin' and love me all the time. Well, kind of paraphrasing an old song there. If you remember the original, was sugar in the morning and sugar in the evening. But today we are going to make diabetic friendly rice pudding. So, of course, we don't want sugar in there. We're going to use Splenda. It's a fairly easy recipe, so we'll get started on that in a minute. But first of all, two things. If you watched last week's uh, freezer pie, lemon yogurt freezer pie recipe, uh, two things. One is I forgot to mention that before serving it, you should take it out of the freezer about 20 minutes to a half hour before serving and place it in the refrigerator. Um, just makes It just softens it up enough to make it easier to slice. The second thing is I used xylitol, if you remember that uh, last week, and I have since discovered that xylitol is toxic to dogs. So if you have a, a puppy, a dog, and you make something with xylitol, do not feed your dog the table scraps or any of the item made with xylitol. If you do, they recommend you get your pet to a vet ASAP. So that's one of the downsides of xylitol. Alrighty. But let's continue with today's recipe with a happier note. So, it's quite an easy recipe. Two things you want to do in preparation. One is preheat your oven to 350 degrees. And the second is butter an 8x8 Pyrex dish or some sort of uh, oven-friendly container. And then, into that dish you are going to add two-thirds of a cup of minute rice. Not, not regular rice, but minute rice, or quick rice. Then you're going to add a half a cup of Splenda. Now, if you don't like Splenda and you aren't diabetic, you can use a half cup of sugar, and it'll work just fine. But we're making diabetic friendly, so half a cup of Splenda. Then we're going to add a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg. A new one, isn't it? Nutmeg and rice pudding. Usually it's cinnamon. Well, not to disappoint you, we are going to add a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. And we are going to add a half teaspoon of salt. There we go. And now, normally the recipe calls for raisins, but if you're diabetic, you know raisins are little sugar bombs. So we're going to substitute chopped nuts. I'm using pecans. You could use walnuts. Oh, the oven is up to temperature. You could use walnuts wherever you want, but as you know from my previous videos, I am a pecan fanatic. So what we're going to do now is grab my whisk, and I'm just going to kind of Blend that all together in the pan here. Just to get it all nicely mixed. There we go. And then I'm going to pour in two and a half cups of milk. And we are going to add one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Expensive as vanilla extract is, we want to make sure we get every drop, right? Alrighty. And now I'm just going to take my spatula and just kind of stir that around a bit just to make sure the vanilla extract gets mixed in throughout. And there we go. Kaboom. And there we have it. It's ready to go in the oven. That was pretty hard, wasn't it? Now we're going to put it in the oven and we're going to bake it for an hour. And uh, after it's been in for 15 minutes, we're going to give it a stir. And then again, when it's, when it's done, we'll give it another stir and then we're going to sprinkle cinnamon on the top. So let's get it in the oven and get busy baking. Actually, I will change that 
Having said that, I think it'd be easier if I set it for 15 minutes. That way I don't have to watch the timer. When the beeper goes off at 15 minutes, I can give it a stir and then reset the timer for 45 minutes. So I'll be back in uh, an hour and we'll pull it out and do the final touches. All right, don't go away. Well, our hour is up. The uh, timer has just gone off, so let's get the pudding out of the oven and have a look. Oh, yeah, that's looking good. Now, if you remember, I have to apologize. I uh, made a mistake here, and I'm just going to correct that. I said to give this a stir at the end, so we're going to do that. Give it a good stir, mix everything in. This won't get a skin on it. Like if you remember the old-fashioned rice pudding your mom used to make, you used to get a nice sort of skin on the top, and this doesn't do that. Now, just after I put this in the oven and turned off the camera, I realized I had forgotten to include an ingredient. And you probably noticed that I put it up on the screen, so it was there, and hopefully you caught it. But the ingredient I forgot to add, and I did add it just shortly after I put it in the oven, was two tablespoons of melted butter or margarine. And uh, not exactly a minor detail, an important ingredient. So uh, hopefully you caught that and uh, are wondering what is he up to and forgetting to put in such an important thing. Alrighty. Now we will take, I have a, a dredge with cinnamon and we're just gonna lightly dust cinnamon over the top. Not too much. Unless you're a real lover of cinnamon, then you might want to put a little extra on. That's all we want, just like that. Now, if you like, you can serve this. I'm just gonna hold it up so you can see it. There we go. You can serve it right now and maybe put a dollop of ice cream on the top, or you can uh, serve it later. You can always uh, warm it up in the microwave if you need to. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed today's recipe. I apologize for forgetting the uh, two tablespoons of melted butter in when I was putting things together, but it did get added. And like I say, I will put it up on the, uh, you, you will notice it would have been up on the screen. So there we go. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's recipe and we'll tune in on Friday for our shout outs story and groaner of the week. Until then, God bless, stay safe, and wherever you are, stay warm. Here it's uh, down in the minus 20s and a wind chill of like minus 38 or something like that. Not a pleasant time outdoors. So nice to be in the kitchen cooking with the oven going. <laughs> anyway, take care my friends. God bless. Mm -hmm.